Hey, Hot Desert Family Pack here with Belle. We're enjoying the sounds of spring right now. You can hear the red winged blackbirds in the background. And we wanted to share something with you guys. And it's getting about that time where the inevitable question of like, what, what should we feed our puppy comes up. And we have a perspective on that and we have a recommendation for you. And We'd say that if you choose to follow our recommendation too, that would uh, lead to us like doubling your health guarantee. So uh, we'll go over this uh, this like dietary uh, recommendation. And again, if you choose to follow this along with keeping the dog from running on pavement for the first year of life, we'll double our health rec. Uh, health guarantee from two years to four years. So what do we feed you, huh, Belle? Belle knows her food. She loves her food. So this is what we would recommend, is that we feed our dogs two-thirds of their kibble pottery. One half of that is grain-free pottery, and the other half of that is a grain pottery with grain in it. And so that is two thirds of the kibble, half grain free pottery, half of it grain pottery. And then the other third is a Purina Pro Plan 3020 performance mix. And in addition to that, it would be uh, supplementing with a probiotic. And uh, so that would be, again, two thirds pottery, half of that grain free, half of it uh, having grain in it, one third Purina Pro Plan and then probiotics alongside with that. And I want to go into a little bit about why we landed on that. If you've done any looking into like dog food recommendation, you'll see that, man, there's a lot of strong perspectives on it and a lot of people saying that things are really harmful. And and it can be really disorienting when to go, when you talk to like long-time breeders, when you talk to your vet, you talk to another vet and they can all have different opinions on that. So we've chosen to choose a diversified um, diet in a way that we're not all on like the grain free bandwagon. We're not all on like a big, uh, big brand that has the science and the budget to do the science behind it. Um, But we have striven to integrate uh, vet recommendations, uh, science, uh, anecdotal, uh, long-term anecdotal experience and trying to combine all those. Now, the reason why we've landed on Pottery is because that is a brand that is a, more of a boutique brand that we have had a lot of people refer to us about and we've had great success with our dogs on that. And then in addition to that, the reason why we have some of it is grain free is because there are there's a decent amount of anecdotal evidence and stories about like the digestibility and how that helps out their immune system and their gut health. And we feel like it's important enough to have a portion of their diet to be uh, grain free. However, in addition to that, we also know that there are some studies out there that highlight how there's potential link between a grain-free diet and dilated cardiomyopathy or DCM, and which is just a, uh, has to do with their heart function and can lead to some like long-term health consequences. And, and the jury is still out really on, on whether there's linkage or not. I just was reading this uh, article the other day that said that, you know, they're, they're actually uh, not seeing a correlation between grain-free diets and the DCM. But nonetheless, we feel like it's a significant amount of a significantly large enough issue that we feel like it's important for us to integrate grain into our diets in order to, uh, I'd say, like, honor where the evidence seems to be potentially leaning at this point. And... Um, and so that's why we're, we do both grain free and grain, um, inclusive, uh, diets. And we have chosen to do Purina Pro Plan as well, because that's another one of like the large, uh, performance, uh, brands that have had, uh, a lot of science behind, behind its formation. 
So it's like Purina, uh, Hills, uh, Royal Canaan, kind of the big three that we've heard. Um, but we also know that there's some value in uh, diversifying uh, the, the puppy's diet as well with different stuff. So if you choose to feed your dog, uh, your high desert pup, uh, this this blend, again, we believe in it to the point that uh, we will double the health warranty for your dog from two years to four years. And and that comes also with the caveat of like, they don't run on concrete throughout their first year. Oh, Bell's getting up. Uh, just because it's going to be really hard on their joints too, as they're forming and that like heavy pounding. So that's that's in a nutshell what we would recommend there's some other things that we think are a great idea too um, and then we would encourage you to consider doing it so for instance uh, integrating fish oil or a dha supplement it's great for uh, neurological development and joint health uh, also looking into integrating some like fresh food toppers um, be it blueberries uh, raw meat uh, strawberries. I mean, there's, there's the sky's the limit, you know, obviously do your research to figure out, uh, what your, um, what your dog can and can't have. I mean, there's kind of four big things that are kind of no nos for dogs and that's chocolate grapes or like grape derivative stuff. Um, the onions, so like garlic, those, those things. And then like nuts, like mainly macadamia nuts, like those are the big four. And, you can you know, different people also think that like a raw diet is is uh more beneficial with digestibility and and i think we're still on the fence with that to the point that we think it's it's helpful to integrate fresh food in their diet and uh, also give their gut biome some more introduction with some like different things to help them out but uh we are just not ready to say like, yes, raw food is the way to go. But we would encourage you again, maybe like five, 10% of, of your, uh, your dog's food to look into doing some of those uh, raw food toppers. So again, uh, we'd say that, you know, two thirds pod tree, uh, half of that grain free, half of that um, having grain in it. It's like we have the, the salmon, one and the chicken and the rice for the other and then for the other third we do purina pro plan the 30 20 uh salmon blend the performance blend and we really believe in that again to the point that we will say that we will stand behind that and we feel like it will benefit your dog's health to the point that we will double your uh your puppy's health guarantee from two years to four years again like if there's dog allergies or stuff like food allergies you know we're, we're up for working through that but I think that's the big starting point for us. So please reach out. If you have any questions, thoughts, let us know what you think. But yeah, it's a, it's a big question. And so we've tried to be as inclusive as possible and we'd love to get feedback. Thanks.